They were so wrong about you, chosen one. From the very beginning, people underestimated you. They saw what was on the surface and judged you based on their limited perceptions. They didn't see the depth of your soul, the power of your spirit, or the divine purpose that has been placed within you. They thought they knew who you were, but they were looking through a fog of their own insecurities, fears, and projections. And because of that, they couldn't see the truth of who you are. But God saw everything. God knew from the very start that you were different, set apart, chosen for a purpose far greater than what the world could understand. And now, as you rise, the truth is becoming clear not just to them, but to you as well. Think about how many times people have misjudged you, belittled you, or tried to put you in a box. They were so wrong. They saw the challenges you went through and thought you were failing. But those challenges were preparing you, sharpening you, and molding you into the person you were always meant to become. They didn't understand that what looked like failure was actually your growth. They didn't realize that every time you were knocked down, you were getting back up stronger, more resilient, and more aligned with your higher calling. Here's the thing as a chosen one, your path is not meant to make sense to everyone. In fact, it's not supposed to. People who operate from the limitations of the material world will never fully grasp the spiritual journey you're on. They won't understand how you can endure hardship with grace, how you can face trials and still hold on to faith, how you can be so different yet so powerful. And that's okay. You were never meant to fit in. You were meant to stand out. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. But it hurts, doesn't it? It hurts when people misunderstand you, when they turn their backs on you, when they doubt your intentions or question your worth. It's painful when those you care about the most can't see the light within you, when they dismiss your potential or assume you'll never rise. That pain can be deep and it can make you question yourself. But here's what I want you to remember their opinions don't define you. Their judgments don't dictate your destiny. You are chosen by God and that is the only validation you will ever need. I want you to think about this deeply. What if their rejection was actually part of God's plan? What if the very people who doubted you, who dismissed you, were placed in your life to teach you something? To teach you that your worth is not tied to external validation, that your value doesn't come from the approval of others, but from within from the divine spark that God placed in your soul. You see, chosen ones often walk a lonely path because their journey is one of self-discovery and alignment with their higher purpose. And often that journey requires shedding the expectations and opinions of others so that you can fully embrace who you truly are. And that's exactly what you've been doing, haven't you? As hard as it's been, you've been learning to stand in your truth, to walk in your purpose, even when no one else understood. You've been cultivating a strength that comes from within, a strength that is unshakable because it's grounded in divine truth. And now, as you rise, as you step fully into your power, the world is starting to notice. The people who doubted you, who underestimated you, are beginning to see the truth. They're realizing that they were wrong about you all along. But here's the real question, does it matter? Does it matter what they think now that you're stepping into your purpose? Does their recognition of your worth change anything about who you are? The truth is, it doesn't. Whether they see your light or not, you are still chosen. Whether they acknowledge your power or not, you are still walking a path that is divinely guided. Their opinions, 
Their judgments, they don't change the fact that you are on a mission, that you have a purpose, and that God is leading you every step of the way. But let's go even deeper. Why did they misjudge you in the first place? Why were they so wrong about you? The answer lies in their own limitations. Most people view the world through a lens of fear, scarcity, and insecurity. When they see someone like you, someone who is different, someone who carries a divine light, they don't know how to handle it. Your presence challenges their comfort zones, your energy disrupts their status quo, and rather than face their own limitations, they project them onto you. They judge you because they don't understand you, and they don't understand you because they are disconnected from their own divinity. But here's where your power lies. You don't have to let their misunderstandings affect you. You don't have to carry the weight of their projections. You are free, free to be who you are, free to walk in your truth, free to rise above their limitations. And as you do, you will inspire others to do the same. The very people who misjudged you, who doubted you, may one day look to you for guidance. They may one day ask you how you did it, how you kept going when no one believed in you, how you found strength when the world was against you, how you rose above the noise and discovered your true power. And when that day comes, you will be ready. You will be ready because you have done the work. You have faced the darkness, you have embraced your calling, and you have emerged stronger on the other side. But here's the thing, not everyone will come around. Some people will never understand you, no matter how much you grow, no matter how much you shine. And that's okay. Your journey is not for everyone to understand. Your path is sacred, and it's between you and God. As long as you are aligned with your purpose, as long as you are walking in truth, it doesn't matter who gets it and who doesn't. So chosen one, here's a deep question for you. Are you ready to release the need for external validation? Are you ready to let go of the desire for people to understand you, to approve of you, to validate your journey? Are you ready to stand fully in your power, knowing that your worth comes from within, that your value is divinely ordained, and that nothing anyone says or does can take that away from you? You are standing on the edge of a profound transformation, chosen one. As you begin to let go of the need for others to validate your path, you are stepping into a new level of freedom. This is the kind of freedom that comes when you realize that your value doesn't come from the external world but from within. It's the kind of freedom that comes when you stop worrying about who understands you and focus instead on being aligned with your true self. And this is where real power lies. You see, people will always have opinions. They will always have judgments. But those opinions don't define you. What defines you is your connection to your higher purpose, your alignment with your soul's mission. And as you continue to rise, the noise of the outside world will fade into the background you will no longer be swayed by the shifting opinions of others because you will be anchored in the truth of who you are. Think about it for a moment. How much of your energy has been spent worrying about what others think? How many times have you doubted yourself because someone else didn't see your potential? How often have you held back, afraid to shine too brightly because you didn't want to make others uncomfortable? Now is the time to release all of that. Now is the time to fully embrace your power, to step into your greatness, and to live unapologetically as the chosen one that you are. But this journey isn't just about personal power. It's also about purpose. You weren't chosen just for yourself. You were chosen because you have a mission. You were chosen because there are people in this world who need the gifts that only you can bring. 
And this is where the stakes get even higher. As you step into your power, you are not just rising for yourself. You are rising for the people you are meant to serve. You are rising for the souls who are waiting for your light to guide them. And this is why it's so important that you no longer allow the opinions of others to hold you back. They were wrong about you. They didn't see your potential. They didn't recognize your power, but God did. And now it's time for you to see it too. It's time for you to realize that everything you've been through, every challenge, every setback, every moment of doubt has been preparing you for this moment. It's been shaping you into the person you need to be in order to fulfill your purpose. So the real question is, are you ready to embrace that purpose fully? Are you ready to step into your destiny without hesitation, without fear, without worrying about who understands or supports you? Because here's the truth, not everyone will support you. Not everyone will celebrate your growth. In fact, some people will be intimidated by it. Some people will try to bring you down, not because there's anything wrong with you, but because your light exposes their darkness. Your growth reminds them of the areas in their own lives where they are not growing. And rather than face that discomfort, they will try to project their insecurities onto you. But here's what you need to remember their reactions are not your responsibility. Your responsibility is to stay focused on your path, to stay aligned with your purpose, and to keep moving forward no matter what. And as you continue on this journey, you will notice something incredible. The more you let go of the need for external validation, the more freedom you will feel. The more you release the opinions of others, the lighter you will become. You will start to see the world through a different lens, a lens that is not clouded by the judgments of others, but is clear and focused on the truth of who you are. And in that clarity, you will find your true power. But let's go even deeper. Why is it so important for you to embrace this power? Why does it matter that you step fully into your role as a chosen one? The answer is simple, the world needs you. The world needs your light, your wisdom, your gifts. There are people who are waiting for what only you can bring. And if you hold back, if you shrink, if you allow the doubts and opinions of others to stop you, you are not just holding yourself back, you are holding back the people who are meant to be impacted by you. So, here's another deep question for you. Are you ready to take full responsibility for the light that you carry? Are you ready to stop playing small, to stop doubting yourself, and to fully own the power that has been placed within you? Because this is what it means to be a chosen one. It means stepping into the fullness of who you are, not just for yourself, but for the people who are waiting for you to rise. It means taking ownership of your gifts and using them to make a difference in the world. And yes, this path can be lonely at times. As a chosen one, you are walking a path that many people don't understand. You are seeing the world through a spiritual lens while others are still caught up in the distractions of the material world. But that's okay. You weren't meant to blend in. You were meant to stand out. You were meant to lead. And leaders often walk a lonely path, but it's a path filled with purpose, with meaning, and with divine guidance. As you continue on this journey, you will find that the people who are truly meant to walk with you will show up. They may not be the people you expected. They may not be the ones who you thought would support you but they will be the ones who are aligned with your purpose. They will be the ones who see your light, who celebrate your growth, and who support your mission. And when they show up, you will know that they are part of your soul family, the people who are meant to walk this journey with you. But until then, continue to rise. Continue to step into your power. Continue to walk in your truth.
knowing that you are never alone. Even in the moments when it feels like no one understands, when it feels like you are walking this path by yourself, remember that God is with you. God sees you. God knows the purpose that has been placed within you, and God is guiding you every step of the way. And here's the beautiful part as you continue to rise, as you continue to step fully into your purpose, the very people who doubted you, who underestimated you, who were so wrong about you, will begin to see the truth. They will begin to realize that they were wrong all along. They will see the power that you carry, the light that you radiate, and the impact that you are making in the world. But by that time, their opinions won't matter to you anymore because you will be so grounded in your truth, so aligned with your purpose, that nothing can shake you. So, chosen one, the next time someone doubts you, the next time someone underestimates you, remember this, they were wrong about you. They couldn't see the truth of who you are, but that's okay. You don't need them to see it. You just need to keep moving forward, keep rising and keep walking in your divine purpose. Because in the end, it's not about proving them wrong. It's about proving to yourself that you are everything God created you to be. And as you move forward on this path, you'll start to notice something incredible the more you embrace your calling, the more undeniable your light becomes. Chosen ones, you have a unique energy that once fully aligned with your purpose begins to ripple through the world. But here's the paradox, the brighter your light shines, the more it can stir up shadows in others. And that's where things get complicated. Those who were wrong about you may not even fully realize why they underestimated you. It's often because your growth and transformation force them to confront something uncomfortable within themselves. Maybe it's their own unfulfilled potential or the ways they've neglected their own spiritual journey. Instead of celebrating your rise, some might react with envy, confusion, or even hostility. This isn't because there's something wrong with you, it's because they aren't ready to face their own shadow. But here's where the wisdom comes in, you don't have to take it personally. I know that's easier said than done especially when you're met with judgment or rejection from people you thought would support you. But their reaction is about them, not you. In fact, their inability to recognize your worth only serves as a reminder that you're walking a higher path. You're not here to be validated by the world, you're here to transcend it. You're here to offer something more, something divine something that reflects the greatness inside you that they simply cannot see yet. You might be wondering, why does this happen? Why do people react this way when I'm just trying to walk in my purpose? It's because your light exposes things that people aren't ready to face. It holds up a mirror to their unhealed wounds, their forgotten dreams, their missed opportunities. And rather than look in that mirror and do the work to heal, it's easier for them to lash out. But you, you're stronger than that. You know that what they see in you is not a reflection of who you are. It's a reflection of where they are in their own journey. So how do you handle this? How do you continue walking in your purpose when the people around you might not understand? The answer lies in detachment. You must learn to detach yourself from their opinions, from their judgments, from their expectations. This doesn't mean that you stop caring about people. It means you stop allowing their limited view of you to define your sense of self-worth. It means that you no longer seek validation from the outside world, but instead find it within, in your connection to the divine, in the fulfillment of your soul's mission. And here's the truth that you need to hold on to those who are meant to be with you on this journey. Those who are aligned with your purpose will recognize your light. They will see you for who you truly are. They will support you, uplift you, 
and walk alongside you as you rise. You don't need to chase anyone. You don't need to prove yourself to anyone. The people who are meant for you will find you and they will appreciate the power and purpose that you bring into the world. But here's the key you must stay true to yourself, even when it feels like you're walking alone. Even when the world around you doesn't understand, even when people misunderstand your intentions or doubt your abilities, you must continue to rise. This is the test of the chosen ones. It's easy to walk your path when everyone is cheering you on, but it takes real strength, real courage, to keep going when no one seems to be in your corner. And that's where your power lies. You see, chosen ones, you were never meant to follow the crowd. You were never meant to fit in. You were born to stand out, to blaze a trail, to be a beacon of light in a world that often prefers the comfort of darkness. And that means you're going to face resistance but that resistance is not a sign that you're on the wrong path. In fact, it's often a sign that you're exactly where you're meant to be. The greater your mission, the greater the opposition. The higher you rise, the more forces will try to pull you down. But here's the thing, they can't stop you unless you let them. So ask yourself this, are you going to let their doubts hold you back? Are you going to shrink to make others feel comfortable? Or are you going to rise, no matter what? Are you going to embrace the fullness of who you are, even if it means walking a lonely path for a while? The answer must be clear, you must rise. You must keep moving forward, trusting that God has placed you on this path for a reason. Trusting that every challenge, every setback, every setback, every moment of doubt is preparing you for something greater trusting that you are exactly where you need to be, even if it doesn't look like it right now. Because here's the deeper truth, the opinions of others cannot stop you from fulfilling your destiny. The only thing that can stop you is you. The only thing that can hold you back is your own doubt, your own fear, your own hesitation. But when you let go of all that, when you step fully into your power and purpose, nothing can stop you. Nothing. And here's the most profound realization of all you don't need anyone's approval to be great. You don't need anyone's permission to fulfill your destiny. You already have everything you need within you. You were chosen because you are capable. You were chosen because you are powerful. You were chosen because you have something unique to offer the world, something that no one else can bring. And the moment you fully accept that, the moment you stop looking for validation outside of yourself, is the moment you will step into the fullness of your greatness. But here's the deeper question, are you ready to embrace that greatness? Are you ready to fully own the power that has been placed within you? Are you ready to rise no matter who sees it, no matter who understands it, no matter who supports it? because this is what it means to be a chosen one. It means walking a path that others may not understand. It means being willing to rise, even when no one else sees the vision that you've been given. And as you continue on this journey, you will find that those who were wrong about you will eventually see the truth. But by the time they do, it won't matter to you anymore because you will be so aligned with your purpose, so connected to your divine calling, that nothing and no one can shake you. <laughs>